Hello, everyone, and thanks for tuning in. It is episode 37 of Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio, the only traditional martial arts podcast now served up twice a week. I'm your host, Jeremy Lesniak, and I'm also Whistlekick's founder. And here at Whistlekick, we make the world's best sparring gear and some great apparel and accessories for traditional martial artists. I'd like to welcome our new listeners and thank all of you returning fans. Don't forget, you can find all of our past podcast episodes, show notes for this one, and a lot more at WhistlekickMartialArtsRadio.com. And while you're on our website, go ahead and sign up for our newsletter. We offer exclusive content to subscribers, and it's the only place to find out about upcoming guests on the show. I want to let everybody know I'm still getting over a cold, and that it's that same cold that I had last week. I'm feeling a lot better, but I'm still really congested. I'm going to do my best to keep the sniffles out of the microphone, but if you hear some mildly abrupt uh, jumps in in my tone or my volume or something, that's what it is. I'm pausing the microphone so I, I don't sound disgusting into your ears because that's not friendly, and I try to be friendly here at Whistle Kick. So last week, I had talked about the organization Kids Kicking Cancer. That was uh, episode 35, and just want to let everybody know that I did reach out to the founder of the organization and heard back from his assistant, and actually I'm going to be interviewing him on Monday. Now, I'm not sure when that episode is going to come out, but um, really, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's a great organization, and I'm looking forward to learning more. And of course, as I learn more, you'll learn more. And we're actually scheduled out with podcasts for the rest of the year, so I'm probably going to end up bumping somebody back or, or whatnot, we'll, we'll have to see. I don't know. It's actually been a lot of fun doing the interviews lately because a lot of people have been approaching the show for interviews, whereas before it was me reaching out to past guests saying, who do you know? And we're getting a lot of referrals now and um, have some exciting celebrities that have approached us, and I don't want to jinx anything and share it. But uh, no, it's not Chuck Norris. Uh, believe me, when Chuck Norris is even mildly on the list, I will let all of you know because I will need your warm thoughts, prayers, good intentions, and all of that. So, yeah. But moving on, and enough about dreaming about interviewing Chuck Norris. I feel like there's a joke in there that I'm missing, but anyway. So if you haven't checked out the episode that came out Monday with Mr. John Graydon, I'd really encourage you to go check that out. We've had a lot of feedback. In fact, more feedback on that episode than just about any other. And honestly, that's what I expected. Mr. Graydon offered some really strong opinions. And if you've listened, you know exactly what I'm talking about. He has no problem speaking his mind. And I really appreciated that, not just as the host, but as someone who listened to the episode. I've actually spent more time listening to that episode than just about any other, maybe all of the others. So that gives you an idea of how much is in that one. So like I said, go back, listen to it. Let me know what you thought. Leave some feedback either on social media, tag us, or head on over to the website, comment on that show page, whatever you do. Let us know what you thought. So over the last few, I think, months, actually, I personally have been really excited about the new AMC show, Into the Badlands, and just the way it looked. Everything seemed on the up and up for this to be the first, at least in recent time, great martial arts television show. And I've seen the first episode. I, I was a few days late on it. It came out Sunday. Actually, the second episode came out this past Sunday, but I checked out the first episode a couple days ago. It's great. I really, really like it, and I'll be watching the second episode soon, and I think I've got my new favorite show, so we'll, we'll see. I don't want to jump in and commit to anything that strong that soon, but if you've watched other AMC shows, Breaking Bad, The Walking Dead, you kind of know their style with strong character development and a good balance of action and drama, and Into the Badlands kind of for follows that formula, but of course there's a lot of martial arts stuff going on, a lot of swords, and killing, and all the things that you would expect in a great kung fu flick, but uh, 44 minutes per week. That's the length of time of a show with commercials, typically. 
Anyway, check it out. Tell me what you think. Hopefully you like it. If you don't, it's not my fault because I didn't make it. <laughs> But something that we do make, hey, there's a segue for you that I didn't plan. Something that we do make at Whistlekick, of course, is our sparring gear, and specifically our sparring helmets. And those are one of our products that I was surprised how much people like them. Not that there's anything wrong with them, but I figured that our gloves and our boots, because those are the things that we put the most research and development into, would be the big sellers. And they are, but... Just to give you a couple high points on the helmet, we use our same really good foam, which makes them more comfortable and more durable, or longer lasting is probably a better word. They've got lots of ventilation, so they're really comfortable to wear from that perspective. There's a hole in the top back area if you have a ponytail. Of course, I don't have a ponytail, and if you've met me, you know I barely have any hair, so that's not a feature for me, but for those of you out there with longer hair, that's a great thing that not all helmets do. And those are available over at our website, whistlekick.com. And we've actually made a change. We're now offering free domestic shipping on all of our products indefinitely. So check that out. And hopefully that saves you a couple dollars. And we'd love to have your business. But moving on. So one of the things that we've gotten some good feedback on is the quotes and, the, and like the story that I read last week. But Here's another good one from Gichin Funakoshi. And that name will mean a lot to quite a few of you. And here it is. You may train for a long time, but if you merely move your hands and feet and jump up and down like a puppet, learning karate is not very different from learning a dance. You will never have reached the heart of the matter. You have failed. You will have failed to grasp the quintessence of karate. And of course, you can substitute Taekwondo or Kung Fu or whatever it is for the word karate. For You can use the word martial arts in there. But I think there's something really poignant in there. And it's true. And I think it's the difference between those of us that train in martial arts and those that see us training in the martial arts. People that watch what we're doing see it as a sport, an activity. And of course, we know it's a lot more than that. So my encouragement to all of you is to remember the difference, to remember the, the heart that you're putting into your training and that that makes the difference. So, movies. This week's movie is Tai Chi Master, and this was one that I kind of stumbled on. I didn't know about it. In fact, I don't know that I, prior to recently, had ever watched it. And this movie goes back to 1993 and stars Jet Li and Michelle Yeoh. And Michelle Yeoh is best known for her role in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, of course. And it's actually a pretty good movie. Uh, it's available for streaming on Netflix, of course, like all the suggestions that we're going to make. And IMD's, IMDb's description says, Two friends, ex-Shaolin monks, part ways as they brush with an ongoing rebellion against the government. The ambitious one rises up to be a powerful military commander, while his betrayed friend resorts to learn the calm ways of Tai Chi. On to news. It's actually a really light news week in the martial arts world, which I don't know if that's good or bad, since most of the news stories that I end up crawling through are related to martial arts instructors abusing students or something ridiculous like that. But I've got two stories for you today. The first one, uh, if you're driving, you, you may want to stop drinking coffee. If you're drinking any kind of warm beverage wherever you are, stop doing it right now. Here's the headline. Russian martial arts school teaches how to use the selfie stick as a weapon. Yeah. Selfie stick as a weapon. There's a news article. I'll post the link. You know everything you need to know now. Um, yes, feel free to judge away. Yes, everything that I can see related to this. I've actually read several stories citing more or less the same information. It is that ridiculous. Um, I don't know what else to say. But on a more positive note, a better example of a good martial arts news story, Wushu, uh, though recently shelved from inclusion in the 2020 Olympic Games, is still on track for 2024. So. If any of you out there are Chinese martial arts practitioners, 
If Wushu is your passion, here's your chance. You've got a little over eight years to practice, and maybe you can be in the inaugural Wushu Games in the Olympics. How great would that be? Personally, I would love to see the Olympics feature a lot more martial arts. I'm sure all of you would too. And haven't heard anything on the inclusion of karate in 2020 in Tokyo, but we'll see what happens. I'm watching that one pretty closely. So that's it for today. Head on over to whistlekickmartialartsradio.com for the show notes, the links to all the things that I talked about. Sign up for the newsletter. Remember, this is episode 37 if you're looking for the specific page. And please, if you haven't already, leave us a review on iTunes or wherever you're getting the show. And don't forget, we've got those free apps on Google Play and the iTunes App Store. Just search for Whistlekick. Those are going to come right up. We've had a lot of great feedback on those apps. I'm so glad that we put out the resources to make those happen. Anything that we can do to help you folks connect with us in the show we're happy to do it. So if there's something that we're missing, something that you want us to do, someplace that you're not seeing the podcast that you'd like to, go ahead, let us know. Info at whistlekick.com. We'll make sure we get it out there. So until next time, train hard, smile, and have a great day.